This video will cover the topic writing the equation of a quadratic function given its graph. Before we start learning how to find the equation of a quadratic function given its graph, let's first identify some important equations we will be using. First, it's important to note that quadratic equations are in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c all have unique numerical values based on the quadratic function. The equation x equals negative b over 2a is used to find the x value of the vertex of the quadratic function, and the values for b and a in this equation come from the quadratic function. Okay, I think I remember learning this stuff earlier, but how does this help us find the quadratic function's equation? To find the quadratic function of a graph, we have to find the unique values for a, b, and c that our function has. Once we have the values for a, b, and c, we can substitute them into the quadratic function form to create the unique equation of our quadratic function. Can we try out an example problem? Definitely. This problem is asking us to find the equation of the quadratic function with this graph. It's important to note that this function's vertex has the coordinate point 5, 4. We are also given another point on the graph with the coordinate point 6, 1. We'll be using both of these points to find this function's a, b, and c values. The best way to find the a, b, and c values of a function given its graph is by setting the equation all in terms of a, finding the value for a, and then using that numerical value to find b and c. We can first find a relationship between a and b using the equation x equals negative b over 2a. Remember that the equation x equals negative b over 2a is used to find the x value of a function's vertex. Because we already have the x value of this function's vertex, we can set 5 equal to this equation and solve for b. Solving this equation for b, we find that b is equal to negative 10a. Now that we know that b is equal to negative 10a, we can substitute that value into our quadratic function form. Okay, so what do we do now? Now is when we make use of the other point shown by our graph, which has a coordinate point 6, 1. This coordinate point has an x value of 6 and a y value of 1. We can substitute the x and y value of this coordinate into our newly formed quadratic function equation so that we can solve for the value of c in terms of a. Doing so, our equation will now look like this. Isolating the c value of our equation, we find that c is equal to 1 plus 24a. I see that we now solved for both b and c in terms of a, but how does this help us find the equation for our graph? Good question. Now that we have new values for b and c, we can insert them both into our original quadratic equation form. Now that our equation is all in terms of a, we can solve for the numerical value of a by substituting the x and y values of the function's vertex into our new quadratic equation. The vertex of our function has an x value of 5 and a y value of 4. Substituting this in, our equation will look like this. Isolating a we find that a is equal to negative 3. Okay, so now that we have the value for a in our equation, and we have values for b and c in terms of a, we can solve for b and c by substituting in our new a value into what we set b and c equal to, right? That's exactly right. We found that b is equal to negative 10a, and substituting in the value for a, we find that b is equal to 30. We also found that c was equal to 1 plus 24a, and substituting in the value for a, we find that c is equal to negative 71. Okay, so now that we have numerical values for a, b, and c, we can substitute these new values into the original quadratic form, right? Exactly. Doing so, we find that the equation for our quadratic function is y equals negative 3x squared plus 30x minus 71. Okay, so just to make sure I'm getting this straight, to find the equation of a quadratic function when we are given its graph, we must find the a, b, and c values to be substituted 
into the quadratic function form y is equal to a x squared plus b x plus c. We find these values by first finding the numerical value of a and then using that numerical value of a to solve for the values of b and c. Once we have numerical values for a, b, and c, we can substitute them into the quadratic function form. That all sounded right. It sounds like you've really mastered this topic. 